Good evening, welcome to Interesting Talks with Footprints Counselling Service. I hope that you're well and I hope that your glass is half full rather than half empty. I wasn't able to do our last talk, our last session, due to the fact that I play volleyball, I landed badly, hurt my discs in my back, led to sciatica, swelling around the muscles. I was in severe pain, I'm laughing now, and the pain has really subsided, but over that nine day period, maybe 10 day period, it wasn't funny. I was taking lots of drugs, which I don't like doing, and um, yeah, I was unable to work. I was unable to do a video. So today's talk is on our health is our wealth. And I would like people to think about what they can do, apart from what I'm going to do, a few suggestions, what I'm going to come up with here, and what they can possibly do to protect their health. So in the long term, they're healthier for longer. So taking into considerations of things that they can do to protect their health. Because your health is your wealth. So many factors influence our happiness and one of the most important ones is our physical health. Physical health regulates how we feel, controls what we do and is linked to our mental health. So if our physical health is absolutely flat, just above zero, what can you do? Not a lot. So your quality of life is not going to be that great. And that's obviously going to impact on your happiness and it's going to also impact on your mental health. Now, what happened to me is something that could happen to anybody that plays sports. Part of my downfall, I would say, is lack of warming up, lack of stretching before playing volleyball, lack of stretching playing afterwards. That's something I'm going to now have to incorporate not willingly, into the future. But what can we do as a group of people to protect ourselves from ill health? Such things as high blood pressure, um, diabetes, um, you know, migraines that people do suffer, back problems, rheumatoid arthritis, um, muscle pulls, stress in our necks. So some of the suggestions that I would come off with are Obviously, when you wake up in the morning, in coming into my, what's happened to me, is stretch. Stretch a lot as you wake up. First thing you do, start stretching. There's so many good therapists, psychotherapists, that are, sorry, physiotherapists, that are online, that can teach you how to stretch properly as you wake up. Now, when I'm doing my stretches in the morning now, I tend to think of, oh, look at that. I've always watched these nature programs of these big cats like lions. And when they wake up, all they seem to be doing is stretching and stretching and stretching. And then, of course, they go out and they hunt prey. Now, obviously, if they didn't stretch, they probably wouldn't be as, well, they wouldn't be as effective as hunt, hunting their prey. So that's like a lesson of why don't we do that as humans? Lots of people do yoga, which I think is a very good thing to do. Um, obviously, preventative to stop your body seizing up. Many athletes do yoga to, to extend their, their careers in athletics or whatever sports they may be taking part in. But stretching is a good thing. Second thing I'm going to go on to is water. Very, very important. I mean, I don't think you can go more than six to seven days without drinking water before you've, you're into serious problems health-wise. So water, monitoring how much water you drink a day, helps flush your system, keeps your system ticking over, and of course, most of our body is made up of water. Again, I'm gonna stress, your physical health is severely linked to one, your happiness, and two, what you can do and what you can't do, and of course, key factor affects your mental health the quality of your mental health. Remember, mental health can be good or bad, but it's more likely to be on the poorer side if you're not healthy, very unhealthy, can affect you. This is a rule for, not for everybody. Some people, it doesn't affect them so much. But as a rule of thumb, try to stay healthy. Now, a lot of these things, what I'm trying to convey is preventative. So we take action so we're proactive rather than reactive. Because when you, if you've got really high blood pressure, it could take a lot of work to get it down. If you've got heart problems, it could take a lot to get it back down. If you've got um, 
many, many, many ailments. They don't, they don't show themselves until it's had a time to build up. It just doesn't happen overnight. It's a, it's a time frame that takes time to build up. So the idea is to think about the things that you can do now so that you sort yourself out before you actually get to the stage whereby, oh gosh, I've got to take do this. I've got to take this. I've got to do that. There's so many natural remedies out there that none of us or lots of us don't know much about that actually help to keep our systems ticking over. And even what we eat, obviously, is very, very important. Eating lots of vegetables, lots of carbohydrates, lots of fruits. Um, and looking, they say, many, many colours on a, in a, on a dish helps your dietary system. So that's something to think about. There's things out there like olive oil. There's, the, there's, the list is endless. What I would like is if people can put their suggestions in, in the comments box, of what they think can help to keep somebody healthy over a long period of time for longevity, because that's what we're here for. And don't forget, your physical health is definitely linked to your mental health. So if you're physically okay, you've got a very good chance of being mentally okay. They work together. They're, they're, they're not separate parts of our, our, our human body, the human person. I would say what happened to me could happen to anybody, but some of the things what happened to us wake us up this woke me up because it was really really painful really really stressful stopped me from working stopped me from doing the last video that i was supposed to do with you guys and of course now i'm back but i'm still in a bit of pain but you know so be it i can manage it so anything you could think of to suggest put in the comments box um i would appreciate it because again i'm learning on this subject as everybody does but other people have got ideas. So put your ideas in the comments box. Try to stay positive for the next two weeks until I come back with another video. And try to stay safe. Take care. Bye for now.